Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Figure as soon as I hit that button and my air conditioner kicked on. So you have to deal with the noise. Oh well. Uh whoops. Excuse me. <laughs> welcome back to the shop. Okay guys, this is what I got going. I have got to make my my raised edges for my gear doors and my servo, my flap ser servo cover. Okay, now I did use last night, put me some tape on there so I wouldn't slop a bunch of extra resin everywhere, you know, and uh, popped right out of there. Now, what I got to do, now what I got to do is come Turn these down a little bit. I'm going with my tape. This just kept me from having to clean my whole mold up. Now I just got a clean little area. Right. Okay. I'll kind of come in here. Put my pencil on. And kind of mark it where you want to cut it. And then pen lines. I'm not going to cut it exact yet. Alright. I just kind of want to get some of this material off. I'm going to make it a little bit past that one because that's just too small. I just kind of want to get this floppy cloth over here. Make sure we don't go past our pencil marks. I sure love these shears, man. They work for everything. Cut Kevlar like it was butter. Cut fiberglass. That's everything. And it was only $12 at Lowe's. Oh yeah, it cuts Kevlar fabric nice, guys. Like it was butter. Bam! Okay, now I still got to trim it out on them rough edges. Got them cut out nice and neat. See, nice smooth edges. <laughs> and I gotta cut this down. I gotta figure out exactly where I'm gonna put my 
my uh, servo and got that figured out yet. It's probably going to be about an inch or so back. Okay. Now, this is my favorite tape to do this stuff with. There's a lot of different uh, double face tapes out there, guys. But this is the stuff I like to use. Now, some of it I have bought has a material in it. Can you see that? I don't like that stuff. Nope. This is the good stuff. Okay, it's just like a, it's nice and smooth. Okay. That is the good stuff. Okay. Works perfect for this. Side underneath, we don't want that. We do not want that. And these corners here got to be nice and tight. Another thing that's pretty big, is, uh, it must be cut exactly flush. I mean, exactly. It ain't hard to do. It's a nice, sharp, exacto. made molds for my uh, ear doors, two separate molds. Once these are glued on. Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, Bob, why don't you just glue these on? Well, for the very simple answer, so I can get my plug back in this mold. Guys, it's not that uncommon to have to put your plug in the mold if you need to do some repair. If you get a big old corner that chips out or something, uh, you got to be able to put your plug back in the mold. If you don't, you'll have to make a whole new mold. And uh, So that's the purpose for double face tape. But you just have to be able to get in Put your plug back in there. Bye. 
bam. Okay. Now you don't really need the whole surface covered. Uh, just the edges. You know what I mean? And you don't peel off that white stuff till you're ready for it to stick. It's just too hard to line up. Perfect. I'd rather trim it than try and line up edges, especially when you're an old guy like me and you can't see very well. Take a box in the steel. Rub it on there. So, the thing about me new exacto blade. I probably got seven, eight exacto knives around here, guys. But for some reason, they're only confined as one at a time, you know. <laughs> they're all here, because I find different ones at different times. And there's only, seems to be one that ain't lost. You know what I mean? T-Mobile, you know, you can actually get a new phone every six months if you want. And all we got to pay is the tax, forty bucks, on top of my uh, on top of my deductible. <coughs> <coughs> so I only had got a, a G5, and they have a super super fast mobile hotspot, guys. I mean, it's ballistically fast, you know, see? And, uh, so if I get a, a camera with Wi-Fi, I can upload stuff in the middle of nowhere, man. Bam! And have you guys videos. And, uh, that's why I, got, I want to get a Wi-Fi camera. This camera's a heat. It was cheap and good for what I... Was needing at the time was a cheap camera because one of those just broke. I don't want to go by it's $375 to what I want. Can't really afford it. I need a good camera bad guys. So, if you want to chip in, man? Anyone wants to chip in and help old Bob get a camera? Just make it right to my email. <laughs> Uh, five, ten dollars. I can get a bunch of people chip in ten bucks. That'd really help, you know? Remember, this camera's for you guys. One guy was mad at me when I took off. You know, I took some time off. <laughs> And he says, is that all we get is I needed a break, or what does he want? <laughs> I mean, I don't get paid for this stuff. That YouTube check is a joke. That partner stuff. 
people are acting like I'm really banking it off there. Ain't you no know, one of you guys click on them ads. Not one. <laughs> and I don't mean them them ads don't pay nothing. Just absolute nothing. I might you don't you don't get a check till you make a hundred dollars. Shoot, it might take three months to make a hundred dollars. Then you gotta wait like three months to get the check, couple anyway. Because they uh, you're always behind a month or so. You know how they do it, kinda like payroll thing. So <laughs> I think I'm banking it guys. Just a poor man with a dream. You know, but a great man once said the small mind. Small imaginations yield small results. Remember that. You guys know who said that? Who said that? Let's, let's get a quiz going here. Who said small imaginations yield small results? There's, there's the, old, the old game show you guys know. So <laughs> who said that? as good as Tyrone shoelaces. <laughs> Remember that one? Who was Tyrone shoelaces? And why couldn't he sleep at night? <laughs> small imaginations yield small results. Whoa, who said that? Now the winner gets a special shout out to any family member, member or RC buddy or your whole flying club. You get a special B1 Bob shout out or some shop dirt. Take your pick. <laughs> yeah, I hope this video loads. That's a good one. You guys missed a real good one over the weekend. But it's kind of a crapshoot. Sometimes they load, sometimes they don't. Sometimes it just comes up and says air after it spends an hour. And guys, I just ain't got that kind of time to waste sitting at that computer trying to get these videos to load. I just do not have that kind of time. I got a roll, baby. I got stuff to do for people to see. Places to go. And like a little tricksy pool. Bam. Bam. You're trying to get it right in there. We don't really want a gap here, guys, because resin will seep in there. If you end up with no gaps when you do your primer, you got a nice primed edge, and if you got a gap, well, you, of course you'll have a gap in the primer, and then resin will seep, seep underneath it. Then when you pull your part out, these will stick to your part. I mean, it's not that big a deal. All you gotta do is unstick them, but you gotta go through all this tape and stuff again. This one won't because it's sitting flat. This one's or this one will stay in here forever. Unless I gotta put that. Unless I gotta put my plug back in for some reason. Small imaginations yield small results. Quote. Who said that?
One more. I'm not gonna unstick all my tape. Bam, it goes right there. You can match it right up with the panel lines. It'll kind of click in place. But once the tape's ready to stick, it's a little harder. You gotta pretty much drop it where you need it. Well, I got this tape just down here at Ace Hardware. You can get it. I think uh, Lowe's, Lowe's didn't have it. You might check in their carpet department, but that's mainly the stuff with the string in it. I mean, I've used that stuff before. That's really hard to cut nice and smooth and it's too thick. And it works. It's a last resort, but it just ain't my favorite. So when you find this stuff, just open it real careful from the bottom. That's what I did. <laughs> I was in the store. I opened it from the bottom and I made sure it was the stuff I needed because I had some of this. I didn't want to buy no more with the string in it. <coughs> so I was real careful and opened it up and said, ooh, that's the stuff I want. Put it back in the box and bought it. Now, here's what I'll do. See if this don't make it a little easier. A little easier to line up. We have to look for the panel line. And just drop it in place and open. Bam. Alright. Small imaginations yield small results. Famous man said that. 